Our old friends Dean and Robert DeLeo from Stone Temple Pilots join us in studio here on the Kevin Bean Show. Yee! And I was thinking about you guys coming in, and I was thinking about their brothers, and I don't know if they're sibling rivalry, but which one do I like best? <laughs> <laughs> and then I thought, which one brought donuts this morning? Oh, looks like I'm going home. Mm. Mm. Dean, you're my favorite. <laughs> Well, Thank you for that, brother. That. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, welcome, you guys. We've been uh, reminiscing the last couple of minutes before we got on the air about how far back STP goes with K-Rock. You were on the bill for the first ever K-Rock weenie roast back in 1993, you guys. Wow. Uh, do you, do you, is there any chance you even remember that day? I absolutely remember that. That's really? A, that's a lot of donuts ago. <laughs> <laughs> Man. I mean, the Ooh. fact that you were on a bill with, with uh, the gin blossoms and the lemon heads and the posies and Terrence Trent Darby. I mean, it sounds like <gasps> well, a, a what, lifetime ago. That, that's what sticks out the most. What happened there, Robert? Uh, Terrence was out on stage, and I, as I recall, he split his pants. Oh, that's oh. right. He tore his pants. And yes. our, our mom was there and wanted to mend. Yes. Oh, like, how sweet is that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're originally from New Jersey. Our mom's like, come over here, hon, and let us uh, sew your pants for you. <laughs> you know, so. <laughs> That's fantastic. <laughs> well, that was all the way back in 1993. STP also played the Weenie Roast in 2000, in 2001, in 2010, in 2000, 2013. You also played a couple of acoustic Christmas shows throughout the years. So we got a long, long history with STP, and it's always great to see you guys. And uh, you're kind of a you're kind of getting into a uh, a new chapter here. We have so many questions for you, but maybe you could just kind of give us an overview of why you're here and where you're at right now. Well, um, we were hoping one of you were going to take the gig. I mean, so I'll I guess do the it. question goes out to you, you two first. Or actually, anyone in the room? Any you know? If you oh guys are no, up for Kevin's it. Kevin's a singer. Okay, here, yeah. <laughs> if you're up for it, you know. I mean. I'll do a couple of shows if that's what you're looking okay. for. <laughs> right. So you're here today to announce that you are looking for a new lead singer. Stone Temple Pilots will go on, right? Absolutely. Yes. And help well, me that's understand. If we, that's if we find a singer. If you find someone. Sure. Help me understand that first. Like, why did you decide it's important that the band with that name and those songs go on rather than just forming a new band or going off and joining a new band? Well... You don't play well with others, do you? <laughs> Is that the issue? Uh, you know, we, we worked long and hard at forming Stone Temple Pilots. And you said long and hard. I heard uh, it. I, 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 we got I, it. I, <laughs> down, glazed donuts. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, I think the three of us just want to really continue as Stone Temple Pilots. We have a lot of music to offer still. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know... That's that's what we want to do. We want to continue this band and 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 honor the legacy. And we have a lot of new material we've been working on. And and Stone Temple Pilots makes sense to us to do that. So you so in addition to the the catalog that is so beloved by millions around the world, you want it to be an, an a current ongoing band with new material as well that you, this new singer will will make with you and you'll tour with it. Well, I mean back back when we made the decision to um part ways with Scott, we wanted to move on in a productive creative atmosphere then, and that's when we went to Chester. And unfortunately, like quite unfortunately, with all that Chester brought to the table, the, the, the one thing he was unable to bring was time. Yeah, well, he has other things going on Yeah, as well. Uh, yes. It makes it a little more difficult. So, uh, you know, he has six kids. Yeah. So, Holy moly. Yeah. Yes, that'll, yes. keep you, that'll keep you busy. <laughs> in, in how many cities? <laughs> that'll keep you busy. Uh, I love Chester to death. But, um, you know... But six kids, that's a bad decision. Let's <laughs> no, be honest. No, no. That's five he's bad a, decisions. <laughs> he's a great he's a great dad. Great I know. Daddy. We love him great too. Great dad. Yeah, Agreed. we do. So in a in a dream scenario, Chester would have been your guy and he would have the time to devote to the band that you, you guys Well would, going would into like, it right? going into it with Chester, we kind of knew what we were up against and you know, it reared its ugly head and we, we came to the uh understanding that uh we need more. Right. Chester Chester came at a great time though, because he really uplifted the whole spirit of Dean and Eric and myself and and that was great at that time and he jumped in and dove in head first and 
you know, really. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he when he was with you, he was 100 percent with you. He never Absolutely. treated it like it was a side project. No. I mean, he and he loved your band, too. I mean, he yeah. I mean, it was a thrill for him to be a part of it. Yeah. Obviously, I got to tell you, we were, I was in the audience when you guys played with him at Weenie Roast and it took people a long time to realize, oh, this isn't Scott. <laughs> it really did. Like people, I was like, nobody is reacting to the fact that Chester Bennington is playing with STP. <laughs> What's going well, on? It was one of those wacky surprise visits we had, like we yeah. did in the past, where people were like, "Yeah, we've done that. We've here. done that before, yeah. haven't we?" But he's also able to nail those songs in a way I, that most singers can't. So, what I mean, a powerful voice! Yeah. Just an amazing singer. Yeah. Well, look, so, man, we're we're not trying to replace anyone here. I, if you really want to ask me, the great Scott Weiland, he's irreplaceable. Mm-hmm. He's irreplaceable. You know, Robert and I had the fortune of creating music with one of the best, the absolute best. But uh, Scott chose one path and we chose another, you know? Right. And now Chester is back with his band, so you're looking for a new lead singer. Tell people where they can go and how they can uh, become your singer. Robert, where would I find that? Where do I sign up? Uh, StoneTemplePilots.com. There you oh, go. Oh, that's too yes. complicated. Allie's that writing really, it down. I, I am. <laughs> and do you want them sending a video? How is it working? Well, there's a, a little bit of criteria to meet. We 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 uh, supplied them with three STP tracks, the instrumental versions, right? Yes, we'd okay. like them to sing on two. Uh, they they would that be uploading? They that's upload right. Them? Yes, they upload yes, them right. To us? They would yes. upload them. Yes. Ooh, <laughs> they, up- <laughs> 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 they upload those, and uh, we'd like to you know a photograph of their pretty faces and um, maybe a, a, a short little bio and what what we'd like to see too is kind of what they've been up to with their own thing recently so they have the opportunity to um to upload um some original stuff and maybe a youtube video as well okay mm-hmm. what do you know what kind of voice you are looking for you know man um one that's really great <laughs> <laughs> you know you know <clears throat> i'll i'll use just yesterday for instance you know when that woman opened her mouth to sing the national anthem. Yeah. I think you got three notes out. You go, that's great. Yeah. 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 She's great. So, I mean, yeah, we want somebody that's really good, you know? If the Filipino guy from Journey applied, <laughs> would he have a shot? <laughs> well, he's an alto. Don't stop uh, okay. believing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, my so, God. I, 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 I'm, I was half joking, but half kind of wondering if that's why I asked what kind of voice you're looking for. So you are looking, you're not looking for someone who's singing high. I think it's just so, like Dean said, someone who sings great, someone okay. who can really nail this and, and has that whole thing that. It's that that thing that you see, and like Dean said, you you know right away. I'm I'm sitting next to one of the finest bass players and songwriters on the planet. Right back at you, okay. So, (laughs) so you know, my 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 theory on it is a a great singer will carry an average band. A great band will not carry an average singer. Interesting. You're right. Okay. okay. You're right about that. All you right. Know, I've come, I've come to terms long that ago that I'm merely the guy that stands next to the singer. <laughs> <laughs> StoneTemplePilots.com. That's where you go for all the information. We've got many more questions with our guests. Dean and Robert DeLeo are here from STP. More in a moment right after this on camera. Now, uh, when did you go live with this project, you guys? Oh, let's see. Was it Wednesday or Thursday? Okay, so you've already seen a bunch of submissions. Yes. Tell me about them. What's it been like sifting through fans from all over the world who think they can sing with you? Well, um, I think there's uh, on some occasions a little more brawn than brain. Sure. All right. Is there yeah. a way that you could send us the worst of? <laughs> <laughs> you know, that could be a nice compilation. <laughs> yeah. I'm saying it's yeah. early American Idol, you know, in the seasons when the people really believe that they can sing and they can't at all. You're going to get some of that. Yeah. I don't. And I'd... we would like them. I, it's it's okay. like okay. It's, it's that kind of thing where it's like, well, mom said I was great, right? You know what I mean? Especially little snowflakes, <clears throat> yeah. right? Now, before before you got to the open audition format, did you think about finding another Chester Bennington? Not that he can be replaced, but another guy who's already out there singing with a, a another band that we would know. Did you go that route already? I think I think if we're going to do this, we have to go worldwide with this and see really who is out there because you live in LA and you're in a little bubble and there's the people around and then there's some other people that they know and you know 
we just wanted to spread this all out, get this all out to the whole world and see, see, see who was out there. I imagine one of the biggest problems you're going to have is people trying to sound like Scott. I imagine. Mm. And it, it, that doesn't seem like that's going to necessarily be the way to go. No, I think it's, I think it's a matter of honoring the catalog and, and someone doing that how it should be done and then also moving forward. And that voice has to be that thing as well as honoring the catalog. It has to be, we're looking for someone who can do all that and, and keep you out there leading this band. Now, now you have said that you have been working hard on new material and you have at least an album's worth of songs. Does that mean um, music and lyrics or, or is the person that you're looking to hire somebody who is also going to be contributing in a songwriting way? You know, we have, um, in, in any writing situation, Robert and I have uh, some melodic ideas. Mm -hmm. But in the instance uh, of writing with Scott, he came up with most of that on his own. And I think in a, in a true creative environment, we have to allow this person to kind of let their flag fly. So the songs aren't necessarily finished, they're just songs, and these people can <coughs> add to them... Uh, hopefully a lot. Yeah, we have music right? tracked with, like I said, with <laughs> melodic ideas, um, but we'd like to see what what they can do. You know, uh, and in most instances, what I what I said, I'd have I'd have some melodic ideas, and Scots were always better. <laughs> <laughs> um, in a perfect world, would you have uh, would you get into a situation like what happened with Queen, where they found Adam Lambert, who is a phenomenally talented guy, who just was a perfect fit for that band. Yeah, I mean, it, it works for them. It really works for them. I, I haven't seen them, but I've heard people that have, you know, from people that have gone and seen them, and they say he's a perfect fit. And, you know, Brian and Roger, John's no longer with them, but Brian and Roger chose to continue sharing that music mm -hmm. with the world, which they should. They're queen. Yeah, yeah, you don't want to yeah. you don't want to live in a world where those songs don't exist, right? Right, right, You're right. That, yeah, that was that was the milk from the bottle that that we drank upon, you know, Queen. Right. Um, how had it been quite a while since you had been in any kind of regular uh, being in touch with Scott? Yeah, years. Had been years. Yeah. No kind of personal relationship at all after you got to a certain a certain point where business went bad. Well, it was it was it was friendly, you know. It wasn't it wasn't the kind of thing where, uh, you know, it, it it was it was he was he was our brother, you know. It, um, but it it just uh, like Dean said, things went in a different road, different paths, right. you know. And and after twenty years, you know, I, I mean, look at people that get married, you know. There's there's such a thing called divorce, and people get divorced, and and it happens in life. And well, look, man, you know. <laughs> When somebody keeps going in that direction and I'm hanging on with hope and help and prayer and doing whatever I can do, it, it's, it's, you know, I spent 20, over 20 years doing that and then it, 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 it eventually starts to creep into my own home, my mm -hmm. own living room, my own family. And it starts to damage me. Yeah. You know? I can see that. People don't think about what the addicts are leaving behind, the families, the friends. Those are the people that have to continue on. And those tend to be the people that are the most affected. Yeah. And I think that's lost along the way with people. Yeah, I don't know if people really understand uh, addiction and being around that and, and not being an addict and, and having to, you know, live with that. Yeah, it's a lot. On a, on a personal and a business relationship. Yeah. You know. it, it must have been one of the hardest things in the world, though, when you guys parted ways, because as you said, it was still friendly and you, there's still so much love for each other. But to know at some point you couldn't help anymore, even as you would see him pop up on the news and there would be a bad situation. I'm sure the impulse was for you is I got to figure out a way to help this guy. But there, there wasn't anything you could do. No, nothing. I you know, I think I think what we did offer Scott over the course of our career was 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 the truth and honesty and uh someone who's that deep in their addiction runs from that right they run from truth and honesty so uh you know that's where he he was you know he, he we we became these guys that he didn't want to be around because 
we were telling him like it was. Right. You were harsh and as mellow. Yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. Do, do, hey, guys, there... this is a morning show. Let's keep this on the up and up. I have a few <laughs> things in front I, what, what, Can I ask a question here? Of course, yes. What's hot fudge holy moly? <laughs> what? I think you need to pr- play well, push it. Push yeah. the button. Hit, hit the button. Yeah. What's, where's the button? Help him with the button. <laughs> Help me out here. He's got, Ralph has a machine there that has some uh, some audio on it. It's 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 queued up. Yeah! Hot fudge holy moly. What's going on? That's what it is. Hot fudge holy moly. Have some fun. There you go. There's your new lead singer I right there. <laughs> I, have, I, have, I have half my clothes. I have half my clothes off already. <laughs> it's amazing. Could there have been a better song to play out of these Scott Weiland talk? Because it is. Yes. A, it is. A, it was becoming sad. I was getting sad. sad. And, and, and I apologize. And look, I apologize for that. Sad. I'm not trying you know, to make it sad. I, it's but, sad. It's but sad. you can play that again anytime you need it. <laughs> Anytime you feel like we need it, well, it's right there. There's been many times on stage with Scott where I feel hot fudge holy moly. <laughs> really. I mean. All right. Let's drive the point home. StoneTemplePilots.com, looking for a new lead singer. You didn't give us a lot of parameters. Uh, so let me ask you, is there an, a- an upper or lower age limit? We're taking all applicants, man. All right. What male, about 80 male plus? Male or female. What about 80 plus? <laughs> I mean, there has to be a high end. Well, you know. 85 plus. So you're then saying... We, then we'd be discriminating. <laughs> so, so the next question from the manager is, do you mind having Depends being wrapped on the bus? That's a good point. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Good. Um, it's going to be a dude, though, right? I would imagine. Or maybe not. Man or woman. Man or woman. You're accepting applications from both. From everyone. Let's see what you got. Okay. All right. Let's yeah. see what you got. Have, have, has there been anybody in the last few days that you have put into a separate file that goes, let's keep an eye on this one. This might, this one might be worth going back to. You know, we've actually yes. gotten a room with several people over the last uh, few months, and there's a couple people that we really dig. But, you know, we want to we go wide with this. Okay. You know, we want to go wide, and we want to make sure that we have exactly what we want and need. To take uh, and, this band all, and, and take this band into 2025, you know, and that all of the people out there are aware that this is available and can maybe yeah, help get you the guys word make out, some right. music. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what's the deadline? When are you cutting off submissions? I think Robert, maybe another 15 minutes, 30 days. <laughs> 30 days. <laughs> 30 days is what I meant. All yeah. right. <laughs> All right, so you got a month to fill out the application and upload the video that could change your life forever. You could be the new lead singer for Stone change Temple Pilots. Change the face of music. Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, this is a wonderful a wonderful opportunity for somebody, and I know you guys are excited, as you said when you sat down, to continue the continue the band, continue the brand. You've got a lot to offer, a lot of music that you want to play, and I man, I, I hope it works out for you. I hope this is I hope this works, and you find the person you're looking for. Well, thank you. So so dig this. Enough of us. Mm-hmm. Twenty five years yeah you guys yeah it's insane don't you guys think it's about time you got real jobs <laughs> <laughs> all yes, right dad give, give us a uh, give us a hot fudge holy moly years. to get out of here dude that's pretty good Just so eat. i i i if if you guys don't mind i'd love to say good morning we're to sort my, of out of to time my lovely wife jen rocco and June, I love. Oh, you they guys. don't have a phone. <laughs> <laughs> really? They're tuned in, man. They're tuned in. <laughs> you guys are the best. Thank you for coming in. Thank uh, you. Share with us your lead singer when you find one. Absolutely. We're looking forward to that. Thank Absolutely. you for coming in, guys. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank you.